Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV and welcome to our 2011 Showy Helmet Overview. In this video, we're going to talk at a very high level about the positioning, the shared features, and really the uses for all of the helmets from Showy that I have on the table in front of me, the five main styles of road helmets. Now, if you're watching us on video for the first time, break down some of these products, remember, we have an in-depth long distance, highly deep dive on all of these helmets at RevZilla.com on the product page for any one of these helmets or at RevZillaTV.com, which is our media channel. You can really go down into the nitty gritty of the details. For today, I'm gonna to keep it high level, compare and contrast them off of each other and move pretty quick. So we're gonna start with the Shoei RF 1100 right in front of me, the most popular helmet from Shoei. Notice the, notice the profile on it. It was new for 2000, N10, Snell 2010 construction. Actually, everything on the table except for the modular is a Snell 2010. It used their AIM Plus shield, which they all use. It's Showy's high-end laminate. Showy really, as a brand, has been making helmets since about 1959. They're considered super premium, really, from Showy. Showy's going to compete directly with Orion in many different ways. And then you might see the Corsair 5 be in that next stratosphere of helmet. But everything else from Showy is really considered pr pr super premium, and it's going to be a big step up from a lot of what's on the market. This helmet starts at 370. It is by far, and that's for a solid color, this is a graphic, by far the most universal in its functionality for all different types of riding, from upright to three-quarter to sport bike position, two big vents on the front, chin vent, four exhaust vents, built-in spoiler. It uses the CW1 shield, which all of these CW1 shield, CW1 shield, and I believe CW1 shield as well on the Multitech. It's five, for this newer model, they added five extra millimeters on each side, and it's spring-loaded to suck in on the gasket, and it uses a really quick ratcheting release system. The Shoei RF1100 is by far the most popular premium sport riding helmet on the market in both in solids as well as graphics. Moving on from the RF1100, you'd have the Quest. All of the same features as, as the RF1100, but now you have a helmet that's specifically designed for touring and upright riding. The vent configurations change. It's meant to flow the most air, being up and down, and the shape's a little different. Every helmet on the table is going to be an intermediate oval. It's really the standard showy fit, except for the Quest. The Quest uses a more neutral fit, so if you're, you're a more round shape or a slight oval, you'll fit nicely in the Quest. It gives you a little bit more room. It's designed for someone with maybe a broader face. If you look at the way the back is set up on this guy, two basic vents, single top vent, same shield system, easy to change, a lot of different shield shapes, and it's the spring-loaded visor. Again, Snell 2010 and DOT on all of these guys. That's the Quest. The Quest starts at 315. Again, a really popular seller, new for 2010. Moving from the Quest to the super high end, this is the race level helmet from Shoei. This is the, the helmet that they have out that's gonna start at 615, go against the Corsair 5. Bostroms have worn this, Larry Pegram, you have PJ Jacobson, high end race fit, similar intermediate oval, but the actual fit of this helmet is a little bit more tighter left to right, a little bit more snug around the face. I say race fit sometimes, people say, well, how is it any different? It is, it's a much more form fitting, snug helmet built for higher speed. You can see the profile. This helmet is designed to perform the best while it's in the tuck and be balanced for the tuck riding position. When you're riding on a track at high speed extremes, what you don't want to do is be starting to feel your helmet in different places or having it start to weigh heavy on you. So it's going to be lightweight, it's going to be very strong, it's going to be very aerodynamic, and it's going to work well for a race scenario. So that's the X12. Moving on from there, we move to the Showy Multitech, their premier modular helmet. This is the, the anthracite gray color. Notice it's a touring style vent configuration on the top. It's the AIM Plus construction, same shield as these guys, so it's interchangeable. And this is, a, this is a favorite for the guys that like to have the option of the open face or modular helmet design. This is gonna start at $440 here on the Multitech. And remember, there's videos on all of these. I'm going really fast today. Last but not least is the crossover. This is the Showy Hornet DS. DS stands for dual sport. It is a helmet that's the best of a dirt and the best of a street. The dirt helmet gives you the shape, the peak, the ability to wear goggles underneath or across the face. But with the DS, you have the visor and you have a different vent configuration. So really, you know, if I'm on my 12GS, this helmet is going to perform just as well when I'm in long distance, high speed touring situations as it will as if I decide to turn and hit a fire road or a dirt trail or rip around trails in off-road scenarios. All of these helmets, are going to have a removable antimicrobial liner. They all have very good ventilation and they all have that Snell 2010 rating, except for the modular, and they're all going to have a lot of the other key features and share the same shield, site, shield types from Shoei. 
If you have any questions about any of these helmets, please get in touch with us. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Any one of the product pages on RevZilla.com is going to have the detailed breakdown videos um, for this helmet specifically. And remember, with RevZilla, there's never a restock fee. We do free exchanges. We uh, ship everything for free, over 39 bucks, and you can earn TeamZilla Cash, which is our loyalty program that gives you up to 5% back on every helmet we sell towards your next order to save you some money in the long run. Thanks for watching our very high level, showy, 1,000-foot, 2011 on-road helmet breakdown video today. We'll see you next time on RevZilla TV.